see Anna Chan and Pink Angel fighting out on the outside. That's what I was talking about. This vicious, vile match. Pinfalls come anywhere, and anything goes. Who knows what these double ups will do to each other? This will eliminate each other, so that way they can win this match later on tonight. Wait a minute! Anna Chan is laying the soft street cutter on the Pink Angel, flipping her over, followed by a stunner. I mean, no one gets up to that. I mean, I mean, as it's been well documented, no one. I mean, that's the one move in the UWA that no one's been, ever been able to kick out of. Wait a minute. It'll, it'll, it'll up here. It, it would have been over for Pink Angel there if Anna Tan didn't go for the pin. Anna Tan brought in a chair. Oh, no. God. I'm realizing there's four weapons here. Oh, yes. Slap there. Trip on. This is the last thing I want to see. These double X's with the, the weapon can't be good. Wait a minute. It looks like Mila Essence is going to go for a ride. It looks like she too, like Mickey James, is going to get the boogie yuggy yuggy. Oh, look at this cover. And Mila Essex is eliminated by Arisea. I mean, Arisea is on a roll here. He's only eliminated two people so far. And after that six-month hiatus, he's proven to be more impressive than ever. Wow. What? She's sending a definite message here tonight. That goes number six, Regina of SOS. Now, I actually talked to Sahara... I talked to Sahara and Regina earlier this, like yesterday, and it seems that there's been some sort of turmoil going on between SOS. It seems that Sahara feels that she's been held back all these years because she's always been carrying her, both her tag team partners, and and I think Sahara feels that she wants to finally break her break out on her own and, and go in the in the singles division. And I don't know how, I mean, I'm pretty sure Sahara doesn't feel all too pleased about her decision. And now Pink Angel's blatantly brings in the chair, and now he's stalking Regina. What's no. he gonna do? No. Oh, oh what a sick wow. spear by Pink Ooh. Angel! Wow! It, wow! Two, three. What? Already? And Regina's eliminated? I'm, in my years of broadcast, I've never seen anyone ever get eliminated so quickly like that in the square to spur match. I guess reasons like that. That was a huge oh, spear. Would want to break away from Regina and go by and go on her own into the singles league. And now here comes Ursula Ariano, who tasted the WWE gold for like a few seconds, and now he's back out here again. Trying to compete for the UWA Women's title in the Square of Despair match. Certainly, I'm sure she's not that well rested. I'm sure the fatigue from her previous match is still, is still setting in. But, but you know, there's a, I mean, I mean, you know what? They don't call Ursula Ariano the Iron Woman, the Iron Woman, because she likes to make pizza. This woman is, knows a thing or two about endurance. She can last a lot longer than any of her or of her fellow double X's. So despite that grueling match earlier today, I think she still stands a good chance at surviving Square of Despair here tonight. Well, I don't know. Well, well in my opinion, Mock Dog, I mean, there's still, what was she, the seventh, seventh person to come out here? So that means there's eight more people still to come out here. It's going to be pretty tough for her to survive. Remember, the final six do go on. It's an over, and it means an over the top from there on. So if she can survive, she can maybe do this. Is that the Fist of Fury? And it's a knockout! Wow, what a vicious punches to Arisea! Wow, Ref calls it, calls it a KO. Takes out Arisea. I tell you. Ursula Oriano has the most powerful fists in the UWA. She's the only, she's the only, uh, you know, the only person in the UWA that I know of who can, who can, once he mounts you and does fun fists at your face, it ends up resulting in a knockout. Ursula 
coming back, but man, what, she's probably still really disappointed right about now. Now here goes Andorra of Onatra. Of course, we saw her earlier when she made that bombshell announcing Al Gore as her spokesperson. And now she's finally entered the ring here. Oh, oh what a joke. Of course, Andorra, who is with her partner Gemini, has been, is a two-time women's tag team champion. And not to mention, Andorra is also a former double X champion. So I think she too has has the, the, the know-how and abilities to possibly pull off a win here tonight. First of all, the sent the outside. Oh, but she's getting the table ready. Oh, now we see Ursula Ariano just, just getting that announced table ready, like as if she's gonna put somebody through it. No, God, I mean, our announced table, how many times do you get it broken? I mean, this is a side of Ursula Ariano. We don't usually see that often. Last time we saw Ursula Ariano this ruthless and relentless was back at Insane Asylum when she fought Renegade Diva in that hardcore match when she was bloody profusely. And I've, I've ever worked, when Ursula Arno, Arno was bloodied in that match, I've never seen someone that bloody before my entire life. And in a match, this, a match like this, where it encourages brutality and violence, I mean, it's a match like these where you can find Ursula Ariano and girls like oh, her who would put all stops and then on top of her on their opponents. Look at these kicks right here. We saw this earlier in her match. Oh, on top of her table. Oh, Wait a God. minute. Get off. And now Pete Gable does the victorious. He gets some of the in a tan. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't really see it. But I am right now. These double watches are blocking. Get off her table. It's going to break. Oh, neck breaker. What's Pink Angel doing? No, come on, don't get on. Oh, thank you. Oh, what, a, what intensity! I mean, did you see that? I mean, well, yeah, yeah. Sir, Ariana was just willing with his punching the hell of Andorra. And just the intensity by it caused the announcer table to give away and break! Wow. My door. Totally late out. Oh, wait a minute. Just back up. Pink Angel. Back in the ring here. Oh. Wow. Incredible, incredible athleticism here. Yeah, two count. Wait a minute. Wait. No, now she mounts in Dora with this the punches! And she's out of here! She's rough call that out with a knockout. Oh no! Wait a minute. That means it only belongs to one person. It's the queen of the world! Stacy Hardy! We don't you know for a fact that she's gonna go right after Ursula Ariana when she makes her way oh, to yeah, the ring. What happened to claim the fame? Of course! And obviously the fans are showing what they are, they feel Stacey Hardy. I've never seen so many people booing the hell out of one person. I mean, Stacey Hardy has no remorse. I bet, I see Toy wouldn't mind repeating what she did to Pink Angel at Bloodshed and causing us to get kicked out of Seattle once again here tonight. Let's see how she does. Oh, a poke to the eye. Oh, cheap move. Surprisingly, going straight as an tan, not what we thought was for Ariana. Oh, choking the life out of Anna Tan. I mean, no one of the crowd was booing her. Only Bulldog out of the corner. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's already stalking the prey. And here comes, out of nowhere, the Queen Bee KO. It's got, this could be over for it, it has here. to be. Oh, nope. Wait, did you kick out? I guess she was, I guess she's saving her pit, her, 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 Stacey Hardy had to defeat one person in this match. It would have to be Ursula yeah, Ariana. Probably, as you see here, look at this. Be on the ropes. 
Ref couldn't see it, but wow. Good thing Ursula could somehow kicked out. Wait a minute. And there was a, that same German suplex that led to that controversial end in the women's title match earlier tonight. It was broken up by Pink Angel that time. Wait a minute. Double. Wow. And now Pink Angel just stops a double team maneuver right there. What did 